and welcome to our YouTube fashion history school. Today I'll be telling you what fashion history channels you should watch. So you should watch mine. Just kidding! It's a little bit too early for me, like I literally woke up half an hour ago so my voice is still weird, husky. I actually quite like that. My English is not there today, so I'm not sure how we're gonna go around that, but remember the video I did about like vintage YouTubers you should watch? I promised I'll be doing historical fashion, like fashion history YouTubers next, but I didn't. <laughs> Mainly because I didn't have the time to like search for them or anything, but also because I was too lazy. So now, oh no, shut up. But now I've asked you if you have any fashion history channels to recommend and it turned out there's plenty of channels that I had no idea existed so uh, wait this is not what I wanted to click uh. so the first one that a lot of you recommended was Bernadette Banner and I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce her name and I'm gonna be talking about pronunciation a lot in this video because I'm unsure of my English so she actually I know her channel very well she's doing a lot of really cool stuff she is mostly sewing. She's doing like tutorials and stuff like that. She also makes stuff which is historically inspired, so like she takes a pattern for an Edwardian skirt and then she makes it modern, like wearable. So she has a lot of stuff like that. She has hairstyle tutorials, she has kind of like sewing vlogs where she documents the process. Next up is... Where are my notes? <laughs> Next up is American Duchess, which is like a business related channel, but it's still really cool. Basically, American Duchess used to be one person doing a, a blog. Then she started a shoe company, like a historical shoe company. Then she teamed up with her friend and they're working on the company together. And part of this is uh, making regular YouTube videos documenting, you know, some kind of like sewing adventures, some book related stuff. Because if you don't know, American Duchess is currently working on her second book already on their second book already. It used to be one person, so it's confusing, but generally speaking, it's really cool content and, and they're actually one of the best uh, fashion history, you know, go-to people that I know and adore. So, what is wrong with my eyes today? <laughs> so, Prior Attire is currently online famous for doing those, like, getting dressed in particular style videos, but she she is actually doing a lot more. She has her own company where she sells the historical clothes that she's made herself. I've actually met her when I was on a, on a ball in Bath. So she does those incredibly intricate designs and, and custom-made dresses. But what she's famous on for on YouTube is basically, they would say, dressing up as, middle class, as a middle-class lady, dressing up a Jacobian lady. She also does videos explaining fashion history myths like how to sit in a bustle, how to pee in a crinoline, you know, stuff like that, like things that you've always been wondering about. So Krause Productions basically does a similar thing, they're mostly recognizable for their getting dressed in blah 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 era videos, except they do it in a more... They basically have a whole crew and have a person making the costumes and they have actors and stuff like that, so it's a bit more complicated. I've actually been following them for a while and I remember their very first getting dressed in video. They made this video for the Liverpool Museum and it went viral and that's when they kind of started adding more and more videos in this style because they seem to be really well received, like people just love watching people get dressed in particular eras. I don't know why. They also do short films. So the ultimate fashion history is a channel where you get like fashion history in a nutshell. They have videos which are kind of like lecture style videos so they're a bit longer but also a bit more detailed uh, in explaining the the fashion history eras, you know, trends. It's really good to get a, like a basic grasp of, of what fashion history is, of what particular designers, particular trends. So basically you might have seen some videos from British Pathé just circulating around Instagram and stuff like that because they're really uh, catchy, they're really interesting and actually they, they seem to have a separate channel dedicated just to vintage fashions so it kind of goes under the vintage category rather than historical fashion but 
I included it because they have original videos from the era, so it's not like someone talking about the videos or anything. They just have actual videos from the eras and they do have a lot of good content and it's good in terms of research also because you can get to see people actually wearing those fashions. You can see what the models look like and stuff like that. So, so what's going on with my English today? Where did this British accent come from? Angela Clayton started off with doing those like fantasy style dresses and then she moved on a bit to more historical historical dresses and more vintage style dresses and now she's kind of a person that mixes a bit of all of that. I mean her historical dresses always, to me, always have this kind of like Lolita or like uh, fantasy element to them so that's really interesting it's really visually stunning as well. So she does those kind of like sewing vlogs where she documents her sewing adventures and what's interesting about her channel is that she often changes eras so it's not like she's sewing Edward Edwardian dresses for like four months straight. She does one Edwardian dress and then she hops onto 1940s and then she does Tudor or something so it's really cool. So Loa how do you pronounce it? It should be in the channel name, like you should have the name and then the pronunciation. She does uh, hair videos mostly. She used to do more vintage or historically inspired um, hairstyles. She often does some sort of tutorials. She copies like, you know, paintings or like takes a particular person from fashion history and and goes from there so it's really cool uh, and it's also quite a variety of, of eras and people and and also I'm super confused because I used to think she's British but now it says she's from Netherlands so like what the hell <laughs> oh my god I have puffy eyes today don't I okay so I think those were most of the bigger channels that I wanted to mention there's still a couple of bigger ones but we are kind of moving on to the smaller channels that I had no idea existed because when you type in fashion history or like historical fashion in YouTube, not many things show up. Like you basically get the most popular videos, you get the 100 years of videos, but you don't really get to see all the smaller channels. So now I'm gonna move on to that. Morgan Donner's sewing party says in the background, which is really cute. She is doing, what is she doing? She is doing like historical fashion videos where she shows, you know, how to drape a medieval dress, how to make a 15th century leather case, which looks really cool and I'm gonna have to try it, uh, how to make a hood. Uh, she basically does those uh, tutorials. She also gives you those sewing tips, so it's really cool. And she also does vlogs from reenactments, which is something I attempted and I just gave up, so it's really impressive, actually. She also did this uh, Mrs. Maisel dress with this really nice neckline, which looks amazing. Enchanted Rose Costumes focuses on 18th century in terms of fashion history, but it's cool because she takes particular elements of the 18th century style and she just makes a video, a separate video on it. So it's not like, oh, here I am making an, an 18th century dress and it's like a one 10 minute video, but rather she takes a, each piece of the outfit and she makes a separate video on it. So it's really cool. English Heritage is basically like, it's not a one person channel. It's a huge organization that takes care of old buildings and historic places. And though I used to think it's mostly cooking oriented because for some reason, the only videos that showed up when I was Googling English heritage were cooking videos like Victorian cooking videos but apparently they also focus on on clothes so like here to do a 1930s makeup tutorial here is a Queen Elizabeth makeup tutorial they also did like you know Victorian dresses and 1930s fashion I think as well okay I swear I have no idea how to pronounce this <laughs> channel's name. I guess it sounds German, so I'm gonna go with Gold Kelchen. The channel is mostly 18th century and Regency oriented. It has some, it has Regency sewing vlog, it has sewing tip, short tutorials, actually not so short. And also what's interesting about this channel is that it lists, uh, it, it has those videos on how to do research when it comes to historical fashion, which is really interesting. I don't think anyone else has done it. Apart from sewing vlogs, no one else has focused on particular like books you should read or like where you should look for information so so the next one is Il Fiore Nero Costumeri and the whole channel is mostly in Italian though it does have videos in English so you can just go and watch them it focuses on Regency era I think also 18th century if I remember correctly no medieval Tudor Victorian it's a it's quite a wide variety but it does have a bunch of tutorials it does have a like sewing vlogs around historical fashion and it's all really nicely done so the next one is handbound costumes and they basically do they do have a couple of tutorials especially on caps which is really cool what they 
do have and what's interesting is they have videos of, of exhibits from Bath Fashion Museum. Original dresses and stays even I think from Bath Fashion Museum. So if you want to have a closer look at actual exhibits, uh, like original pieces of clothing, go there. Silver Play, which is the most clever channel name I've ever seen, um, she does a bunch of hair tutorials from completely different eras and she also has the best hair so go check her out they look really complex i actually i admit i haven't watched any of the videos but just the miniatures look really really amazing okay i really suck at french names guys just stop doing that already okay english is fine so this this guy does videos like fashion style fashion reviews mostly i think but he also does videos about like particular designers or particular trends i guess in fashion history so if you're looking for information on, on designers that's a really cool place to go so historical bell is a really cute small channel that uh, basically has short videos which are like impressions of the costumes that she made so I think it's really heartwarming to see the clothes in action you know she has short clips of Victorian fashion videos 18th century some dancing as well from what I can see Miss Makes is actually a confusing channel because it's two people they did a Tudor gown tutorial so if you're interested in that you should check it out they also mostly focus on sewing rather than fashion history but uh, it's all really interesting and then the last one I'm gonna mention I don't know why it is that way, like why it ended up being the last one, is Ali Alicia Estelle. Uh, <laughs> it's the worst pronunciation ever. So she does videos where it's like cosplay mixed with modern style, so she has, let's say, a medieval style dresses, like medieval inspired gown. She has 1940s dresses as well. She, she made a gorgeous Wonder Woman cosplay, but that's not what the video is about. So let's just focus on the medieval dresses instead. So go check her out. And that's the last channel I wanted to recommend to you. If I missed any of the channels that you know and watch or have yourself, a Merry Little Christmas. Just uh, let me know in the comments and I'll include them in a list and a pinned comment. Well done everybody, we made it to the end of the video. Shout out to all my fellow historical fashion or fashion history YouTubers. Keep on good work and I sure hope we'll meet someday on a fashion history island. So, without further ado, I need to leave because I'm late for a meeting now. <laughs>